There are always three rights in Kinsale Community School. The right to learn, the right to be happy, and the right to be different. You now have, an in you now have introduced a fourth right. Can you tell us about that new right? I can. And can I just, in the first instance, welcome the both of you for this conversation here with me this morning. I'm really pleased to have this conversation around the, the, the rights of our school and the other issues that you want to raise with me. In respect of the three rights at Kinsale Community School that were always there, we would have set those out with you when you were in primary school about the right to learn, the right to be happy and the right to be different. Well, we've done quite a lot of work in the last number of years around student voice and around students determining what subjects are studied in the curriculum, students having a greater say in respect of how they learn. So we felt that with the various initiatives that we had done in respect of student voice, we really needed to underscore that with a new right, and that is the right to be heard. So the right to be heard kind of derives its, its, its origins from a human rights charter, but we're very, very serious here in respect of that right to be heard. And I suppose you would have seen the new podcast station and radio station up out in, the, in, in what was the old reception area. That's all part of that right to be heard, that the students get the right to be creative and the right for expression and the right to have their voice heard across the entire school community. So... That right to be heard piece is something that we take really important, we take as a very important measure in our school, but it sits beautifully alongside of the right to learn, the right to be happy, and the right to be different. What I love about Kinsale Community School is a huge variety of extracurricular activities. Can you please tell me about that? I can indeed, I'm delighted to tell you about it because going back to my earlier answer with Ella, the student voice appears very strongly on extracurricular activities. So extracurricular activities are those activities that you do outside of the school, outside of the ordinary day, um, following your own passion, your own interest. That could be in football, it could be in hurling, it could be in basketball, it could be in camogie, it could be in hockey. It's all determined by what the student's interests are. So look around you here, you've a wide variety of... Um, trophies that we've won recently that was in the VEX Robotics competition. Why? Because there were students who loved getting involved in artificial intelligence. We have students who have represented our school in golf, most notably and memorably John Murphy who's now a, a golf pro. We have students who have represented our school on the equestrian team. So what we, what we do in, is we tend to follow what the students interests are and wherever the student has an interest we follow them with that level of support that we can to allow them to really enjoy the extracurricular activity. What is your greatest priority for the students of Kinsale Community School? Um, the, my greatest priority for students at Kinsale Community School is that they're happy. Um, and that's built into the rights that I spoke to you about earlier. Um, and it stems from the fact that if you're not happy it's really difficult for you to enjoy the other dimensions of our school. So if you're not happy, you're going to be underperforming um, at the curricular level, you're going to be a little bit more disengaged at the um, extracurricular level. So it's making sure that your, um, your well-being is prioritised in respect of how we organise our school, um, the structures that we put in place to make sure that there's a culture of kindness, a culture of respect, a culture of generosity, a culture of people being mannerly. All of those are part and parcel of the culture of our school and that which has lent itself significantly to people being happy in our school. A greater emphasis is being placed on sustainability at Kinsale Community School this year. Could you tell me a bit more about that? I can indeed. Sustainability is probably the greatest challenge of our time together, um, you as a student and me as a teacher in our school. Um, it's a huge challenge that we face globally and up until recently there was this view that the only thing that the youth of our country could do in respect of climate change and sustainability was protest. Um, and there were strikes against schools and so on. And that has caused us as a school community to look at, well, what can we do 
as a pro at a proactive level to ensure that there's a greater awareness amongst our school community, not just students, staff, parents and so on, about sustainable practices, about the impact that our own behaviour can have on climate change. So we want to move away from the protest to action. We want to move away from hopelessness that this is too big a problem, that we can't do anything about it, to actually breaking it down into things that we can do. So dimensions that we're taking around food production, our new glass house, measures that we're involved with the canteen, our use of paper, greater use of technology, all of that is lending itself to us having a really modern take and a useful take on what good sustainable practice looks like. In our most recent newsletter, you spoke about building back better. What does that mean? Yeah, building back better is a philosophy that's, that's predicated on looking and reflecting back on the measures that we took during our school closure time during COVID, during the time that the school building wasn't available to us, but the teaching and learning continued. And that teaching and learning continued in a medium and through a platform that students didn't have a whole pile of experience in, and neither did teachers. And there were dimensions of that experience and that time that were quite positive. So what we want to do now as part of our reflective practice is to go back and unpick that which we know really worked, that we know that supported student well-being, that we know that supported student assessment, that we know that lessened student anxiety. And there's a national question in respect of, you know, how do we assess students going forward? Because quite a lot of our leaving certs in class, the class of 2021, fared really, really well. So there's a national conversation that needs to be had around building back better. But at the local level, within our own school, we need to look at what really worked during that period of time when we were involved in online teaching and learning. Can we blend that in to a better practice going forward? Mr. McCarthy, can you please explain to us what makes the school so special? The school, a school building is a school building. What makes a school special are the relationships that happen within it. And the relationships in this school are really, really positive. Why? Because they're predicated on a positive engagement of kindness, of support and help. That's what our teachers bring to their work on a daily basis and they're met with students who are compliant, who bring that level of ambition and that level of desire to learn with them. They also bring a very strong, caring nature and they understand what Kinsale Community School citizenship looks like. And Kinsale Community School citizenship is that we're all together, we're all together in learning, we're all for each other, we're all about each other and we want each and every member of our school community to enjoy success but enjoy success together and make sure that the relationships that we have with each other are sustained on a really really positive level throughout it. So there is a unique culture in our school and there are the dimensions of it. Um, thank you most sincerely. I'd say there's probably a break coming up now shortly so off you go and thanks again for the richness of your engagement with yep. me this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen O'Brien, Deputy Principal here at Kinsale Community School and I'm really looking forward to welcoming you when you come here and join us next August. I am one of three Deputy Principals in the school and part of my role lies in creating the timetable and the curriculum for the school. Here at Kinsale Community School, we start school every day at 8.40 and finish at 3.30, except for Wednesdays when we actually finish at 10 to 1, you have a half day on Wednesdays. Every week you're going to have 42 periods in the, in the week um, and as part of those 42 periods you'll be doing a variety of different subjects. You will be doing your core subjects, English, Irish, Maths, History, Geography and so on. But you will also have the opportunity to taste some option subjects such as home ec, woodwork, metalwork, technical graphics and business. You will also have the opportunity to, to taste coding and digital media literacy. And in your digital media literacy class, you will be able to find ways of working really well with Microsoft Office, Teams and OneNote. These applications will be used in all of your other subjects um, to enhance your teaching and learning experience and to set homework. And you will learn lots more about this when you come to us in August. 
As part of my role, I also work closely with teachers to ensure that they are using the most innovative teaching methodologies available to ensure that you as students will learn effectively. We have a school improvement team in the school where we look at various strands and try and improve elements of literacy, numeracy, student voice and feedback through the school to ensure that you are getting the best experience possible. One of our strands that we're really focusing on this year and that we will be focusing on next year is the area of sustainability, which you may have heard about already. We have a really strong sustainable campus in the school. We use solar panels, we use water harvesting, we have a green flag for recycling, and we're really going to develop these practices as we move through the next few years. So when you join us at Kinsale Community School, you will experience this. You will also experience sustainability as a thread running through your curriculum in subjects such as science, geography, English, as you come and study in our classrooms. Hopefully you will get a chance to experiment with our KCS radio station and make some programmes and magazines about sustainability and other topics yourself. Really looking forward to you joining our exciting campus next year. Hi, we're the Green Schools team. We work around the school to try and increase sustainability. Last year we were delighted to get our first Green Schools flag for reducing litter and waste. We spread awareness about our committee through our Green Schools notice board, which is located outside the staff room, and on our Instagram, at KCS Green Team. Our theme for this year's green flag is water, so we're looking to reduce water in the school. This year we also have a sustainability officer from the Kinsale College, Klaus, working with us to promote sustainability. We're really excited for all the new first years to join our team and share with us their new ideas. Hello, my name is Klaus Harvey and I am a new role here. I am the sustainability chaplain uh, and I'm delighted to be here. I think it's a very dynamic school. There's a lot going on already with sustainability. So I've been brought in to uh, both teach and I've been teaching the transition years uh, a new programme called Youth for Sustainable Development with the idea that at the end of it, the end of 12 weeks of that, they will be empowered and they will have the skills to pass on that information to the first years. So we're hoping then that from now on every first year coming in will get peer education from uh, the transition years or some group of people who are a bit senior to them. And the idea is also to move the whole school to develop uh, an ethos of sustainability, staff, students, parents as well. Um, I would love to see some you know, wildflower growing around. I think they did that last summer already, but some wildflower patches for the pollinators. I would love to see hedgerows growing, growing around the, the fences for uh, wildlife corridors. Um, there are already some solar panels on the roof. Maybe we'll get a few more of those. Um, I would love to see some fruit trees, maybe some nut trees planted on the grounds. Um, there's a greenhouse, which you can probably see behind me. Um, I would love to see some raised beds in there, growing food, getting the students outside and working with nature and you know, planting some of these things and growing some food for themselves. So they learn these skills going forward. It's a really important thing for students to learn um, in today's society with the, the, the new environmental challenges that we're facing. So looking forward to all of you coming here and learning these skills. I'm looking forward to getting involved with you in that. Hi, my name is Alice and this is Louis. We are the head boy and head girl of Kinsale Community School. That means we are elected by our fellow students to represent all students in the school at important occasions like this. This is our first official role and we were very excited to be asked to speak to students starting first year in Kinsale Community School next year. We are very proud of our school and we have been very happy here for the last five years. We worked hard in class with the support of our excellent teachers who are always there to give us that extra bit of help, especially at exam time. I've had lots of fun in activities outside the classroom. I've played in school soccer, Gaelic football and basketball teams. I was also in the transition year show, High School Musical, which some of you might have seen. I too was in the show, and it was one of the best things I ever did. I also took part in the BT Young Scientist competition, which was an amazing experience. You will also have lots of trips to look forward to, such as the first year activity day, the weekend at Captain Lee in County Kerry in second year, a week in Ballyhas Adventure Centre in the transition year, as well as the French and German exchanges and the international school, t school tour to France or Spain in transition year. My advice to you is to work hard and to get involved in as many extra activities as you can. We wish you well in your first year in Kinsale Community School. We hope you like it here as much as we have. Have a great final year in primary school and we'll see you soon here in KCS. Hi, my name is Claire Sheehan, one of three deputy principals here in Kinsale Community School. I oversee senior school and this involves transition year, fifth year and sixth year. Transition year ensures that there are many varied opportunities afforded to our students. 
It allows students the possibility to experience the various Leaving Cert op subject options. I work with students to inform and guide them to make the correct subject choice for Leaving Cert in preparation for third level. Transition year is a year where I can really get to know the students before they embark on the final two years of their schooling. It's important to me that the final years of the students' secondary education are an enriching experience. We offer two Leaving Cert options here in Kinsale Community School. The Leaving Cert Applied is a two-year certificate available to students who wish to follow a practical program with vocational emphasis. Throughout fifth and sixth year, I work very closely with teachers and the guidance department to ensure that all students' needs are met. I support the students throughout their journey to become responsible adults. In fifth and sixth year, I established an initiative called One Good Teacher. I place a huge value in forming relationships with the students that I work with. This entails mentoring them, focusing on their pastoral care and well-being, and working closely with their year heads to ensure the students are supported. Our teachers play a vital role in promoting and supporting the mental health and well-being of young people. Here at Kinsale Community School, we provide a safe and supportive environment for building life skills and resilience. I work with the students to foster healthy relationships amongst their peers, school staff and parents as it is critical to a young person's overall experience of school and their social, emotional and cognitive development. Our students are the core of our school. I am here to support their development and to ensure their experience in school is a positive one. My door is always open to the students and I look forward to working with your child in the future. Hi, my name is Fiona Keating and I am a past pupil of Kinsale Community School and a Kirkus Scholar in University College Cork. KCS helped me, develop, helped develop me into the person I am today. In particular, sport has contributed throughout my education. This school has state-of-the-art facilities. There are very few schools in the country with the, such facilities that are offered to pupils. I know coming into first year can be quite daunting. However, a great way to make new friends is to sign up to any extracurricular activities. For me, when I came in here in first year, I had never played basketball before. I didn't know how to dribble a ball, I didn't know how to shoot a basket or even any rules of the game. And I left here in sixth year with an All-Ireland Basketball medal. This is something I never in a million years thought I would have leaving school. And it just goes to show you can achieve anything once you put your mind to it. The time and effort the teachers in Kinsale's community school put into their pupils are second to none. They go above and beyond for their students and if they see that a student wants to achieve a certain goal, they help them achieve it. This is something they did for me and something I will be forever grateful for. I would really encourage you as new first years coming into the school to sign up to any extracurricular activities. It is a great way to make friends and have fun and at the end of the day, that's what school is all about. Hi, my name is Oshin Coyle and I'm a past pupil of Kinsale Community School. I've just started engineering in UCC with focus on energy engineering. Throughout my time in Kinsale Community School, I took part in many, many vast extracurricular activities which enabled me to grow in a fruitful way, supported by friends, family and teachers. Taking part in extracurricular activities blossoms connections throughout the wider community. Personally, I took part in the show Dirty Dancing, something that would have been way outside my comfort zone back in 2015 when I started in first year. I also took part in debating, mini company and cultural exchanges which developed my personal and social skills immensely. During the 2020 COVID lockdown, I used my connections and skills developed through KCS to set up a PPE production task force to combat the PPE crisis that was present at the time. We manufactured PPE in the tens of thousands using 3D printing technology, which I've always been really passionate about. During your leaving cert, I'd advise you to take breaks and not be afraid to look, look after yourself and meet up with your friends when you have the time. Always try to com complete your homework fully and on time and practice exam questions whenever you have the chance. And always be sure to reach out to your teachers. They're there to support you all throughout your time in KCS. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is John Murphy. I'm um, from Kinsale, born and raised about five minutes from the school. And uh, I'm now lucky enough to, to be a, pre a professional golfer. Um, I spent six great years here in the school where I was lucky enough to be taught by some of the best teachers in the country and get, the, I suppose, the best education you can get um, from a public school. So yeah, I'm just or from any school, I guess. Uh, so yeah, just delighted to be back here. I'm back for a week and decided to call in and uh, try and relive some of my some of my great memories here and uh, see some of the people that that helped to to shape me into, I suppose, the person I am. And um, yeah, I suppose just 
for uh, anybody in the in the school here. Just be sure that you're uh, that you realise how lucky you are to be in a school this great. And um, yeah, I always I always enjoy coming back. So hopefully get to get to see you all again soon. The transition from primary to post primary school is a great time of excitement. The opportunity to learn new subjects, try out new extracurricular activities and sports, and best of all, the opportunity to meet new people and make new friends. Despite all the fantastic opportunities that you will have as a student at KCS, it is absolutely normal for this to be a daunting for both parents and students. We know how you feel, we know you'll be nervous, apprehensive about what class you'll be in, where your locker will be, how do you follow a timetable, the new subjects and making new friends. We will help you and I promise that KCS will not be found wanting when it comes to the support available to you as a student and indeed you as parents to help make this transition as smooth as possible. One of my roles as Deputy Principal is to support our junior cycle students but I am just one person in what is an extensive team. You will have subject teachers, a class tutor who teaches you most days, two deputy year heads, a year head, three guidance counsellors, a chaplain, three deputy principals and a principal who will all be looking out for you. You will also have a student support team called our METAL team which comprises of fifth year students who will organise activities throughout the year to help you feel comfortable and happy in your new school. My name is Cuiva McGuinness and I am a member of the METAL team. METAL is a programme designed to help the first year settle into the school. There are 12 of us involved in the programme and each of us have been assigned one class. Each week we go to visit our class and so far everything seems to be going okay. Right lads? Yay! Hello everyone, my name is Elaine Bennett and I'll be year head to first year students in Kinsale Community School next year. I am so excited about and looking forward to meeting you all next September. I would be even more excited if I were you, a first year student, meeting new friends and teachers, studying new subjects and using our excellent facilities. My role is to help you and care for you as you settle into life in Kinsale Community School. Will you have questions? Possibly. Will my team and I help you? Definitely. Now go and enjoy sixth class. We can't wait to meet you next year. Bye.